The following is a production of the University of Minnesota. Hi, I'm Angela Orshinsky and I'm the new Assistant Professor and Extension Specialist for Horticultural Pathology at the University of Minnesota. Recently, I've taken over some of the turf diagnostic functions of the plant disease clinic. When you take a sample, please be sure to take a sample that includes both healthy and disease material. This way I can see the, the progression of symptoms across the sample and uh, know what your healthy turf looks like. And so today what I'd like to do is show you how to properly package a turf grass sample for um, submission to the clinic. The first step is to take a sample that includes enough of the soil and roots that um, we can take a look at the roots. Often your problems will occur there. The next step is to wrap these roots in foil in such a way that it will not contaminate the leaf blades. The next part of the procedure is to pack, pack the samples as tightly as possible into a box so that when it's shipped, it won't move around and the soil won't contaminate the top of the, the turf grass sample. So you can see how tightly packed it is, it won't move around. Once you've taken your turf sample and, and packed it, you're going to want to um, fill out a form. Fill out your name and all of your company information or homeowner information on the sheet. But it's really important that you tell me more about your disease sample. For example, what kind of turf is it? What cultivar? If you know what cultivar, that can often be very helpful. Is this a recurring problem? Has it happened multiple times in the past years, months, or weeks? What, what is the type of damage? Are you seeing rings, patches, spots, streaks? Is this uh, a huge problem? Is it a large swath of turf that's being uh, affected? What are the environmental factors where the disease is occurring? So is this a full sun location, partial shade, or full shade? What kinds of chemicals or growth regulators and fertilizers have you been applying? What's your, your typical program that you're on in this area? When did the problem first appear? So describe the timing of onset, what weather conditions were happening. Finally, after you've filled out all of this, uh, if possible, take a picture. And if you can print the picture off, that would be super. Um, and fill it in, uh, uh, put it in with your submission form into a baggie. And the reason you want to put it in a baggie is because the sample, the soil sample, contains a large amount of moisture and you don't want to have the moisture affecting your form or picture. Alternatively, you can email the picture to pdc at umn.edu um, and make sure that you include enough information in the email containing your picture so that I can identify which sample the picture belongs to. So you're gonna pack everything up like so in the box and mail it off. When submitting a sample, please use a courier and use 24 hour shipping so that it gets to me within 24 to 36 hours. If you submit the sample any other way or in a plastic bag, it can cause degradation of the sample, making it almost impossible for me to identify the cause of disease. The cost of diagnosis is $75 a sample. If further or more in-depth testing is required, then I will contact you to discuss further pricing options. Mm -hmm.